Aston Villa fans, it's back. Watford versus Aston Villa, Saturday the 14th of August 2021. I'm saying it like it's ages away, it's just tomorrow. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some team news. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to set a like target of 150 likes. If we can hit 150 likes on this channel, on this video, it will be much, much appreciated. And before we speak about anything else, let's just get into today's video. Guys, some team news, Aston Villa versus Watford. I'm bringing you team news for Aston Villa. So, in terms of goalkeeper position, Martinez is looking set to go. The Argentina shot stopper. Right back position, we've got Matty Cash. Defensively, centre backs, we're going to go with Tyrone Mings and also Concer. Left back position, we're going Matty Target. Now, the midfield is pretty much at this point picking itself. Douglas Louise is looking unlikely due to a bruised knee that he's picked up as an injury. Nicamber is looking likely to uh, fit in there with McGinn as the midfielders going forward. A bit of news also that James Ward-Prowse will not, let me just confirm this, I want to confirm this, will not be signing for Aston Villa this season, unfortunately. Leon Bailey, who we're all hoping to start against Watford, unfortunately will not be starting it's been confirmed i mean he joined yesterday aston villa he joined dean smith in the training staff and he went through a short training exercise where he looked absolutely incredible but it's been confirmed today uh friday so 24 hours before the game is due to kick off that he won't be playing emmy buendia now, again, he's another player that's picked up a bruised um, bruised leg in training. However, it's been reported that he will shake that off and he is going to start against Watford. Now, Dean Smith has stated that he wants both Ollie Watkins and Danny Ings to play and start together this season, which, in my opinion, would be absolutely amazing. 4-4-2 formation. You might be watching this video thinking, no, I don't want a 4-4-2 formation. While it's looking incredibly likely once they're both fit because Ollie Watkins again has picked up an injury in pre-season. So again, it's looking unlikely now that Ollie Watkins is going to play. People are saying Sanson could come in instead. Danny Ings is definitely getting the nod up front. So he's going to take Ollie Watkins' place maybe for the foreseeable future until they play that 4-4-2 or play with a two up the top formation. So that's going to be the team, guys, that lines up against Watford. I want your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. What do you think about this team? As I say, they're reporting Danny Ings up front, which I think is amazing. Clinical finisher. A score prediction just before you go. I'm going to go 2-1 Aston Villa. I've been Scott. This is Total Football, and I'll see you next time.